LLMs are highly advanced machine learning models that can help us in everyday tasks. As you can see, they're starting to become very advanced. And I'm going to show you how to use them on your computer with your hardware. Now, we don't want to chat with these models from the terminal. And that's why we're going to use a UI that's going to look like this. This is Olama Web UI, and we're going to be using it because it offers many great things like easier downloading of models, authentication, and a beautiful interface like ChatGPT. To run this, you will need Node.js or Bun and Python. I'm going to be using Docker to run the Web UI, and I'm going to install Olama locally. Installing Olama is very easy. You just have to copy the link they provide from their website, and that's it. Now you can go to the repository and just copy and paste the command that I've copied. Now go to your local host 3000 and we're going to have this screen. You're going to go to the sign up link and you're going to create your account. I'm going to go to the options here and I'm going to change my full name. And as you can see, I'm an admin user, which means when someone else joins in, they can be a regular user without changing your settings. Now we're going to download and use our own model. To do this, you have to click the settings icon and go to the models tab. Now we can enter any name of a model from the Olama library. And if you're unsure which model to use, you can also open the website and see all the available models. I'm going to use Mistral because it's a good general purpose model. Before we run Mistral, we have to understand that LLMs are hard to run and we need a good graphics card for it unless we want to burn our machine and our house. Now that we know what we need to run our LLMs, let's download Mistral. When we finish downloading it, we can close the model and let's test it out. Now let's see if it can create a simple function in TypeScript. I'm going to ask it to create a function that will add two numbers. And as you can see, it gives us the function, it gives us code highlighting, and it adds comments to the code. It can also write a function that will remind you to like this video and subscribe. Now let's ask it something more complex. We need a function that will take background color as its first argument, and it will return white or black text based on which text has the better contrast or is more fitting to the background. Now let's run the prompt. And as you can see, it adds a type. It also splits the RGB values correctly. It determines the luminosity and returns either white or black. The thing I also like about it is that it returns an error if we don't actually add the correct hex value, which is amazing since error catching is one of the problems of working with LLMs. And there you go. Now you have your own machine learning model to take over the world.